This is the Evergoods Civic Panel Loader in the 24 liter. Also comes in a 28 liter. This is a perfect day bag for the person on the go, to the gym, to work, loaded with awesome organization, plenty of room, a comfortable harness system, a great quick access spot, wonderful materials, and is very durable that overall has been quite a joy to use. Let's get into it. Okay, so now since I started my channel, this was one of the bags when this is the version two that just came out uh, not too long ago. There was a version one and a lot of people have requested this bag that I get my hands on it, try it. Whether it was just a review, a lot of people were just like, you've got to try this bag. So I finally decided why not go ahead and try it. So I bought myself one and I got to say, I understand the hype behind this product. This has been actually quite a joy to use. It reminds me a lot in terms of durability and comfort and just build quality of like the Alpha 1.9er, a day bag that I thoroughly enjoy using. Honestly, day bags that are built from this kind of material that have this kind of like durability and little spots for like patches and things like that. So let me just run down my overall impressions and what I enjoyed about this bag before I dive into how I had it loaded out. Okay, so first off, like I said, I like this material, this is a 500D high tenacity nylon with a 420D high tenacity nylon with PU coating on the inside DWR and YKK zippers. Evergoods did not skimp when it came to the build quality of this and it shows with these zippers, these nice like big, I think they're either eight or 10 YKK zippers with these nice zipper pulls. Everything, even the straps on the back, just the foam, the, the back panel, the clips, everything feels really high quality and honestly durable, like it's gonna last. Like this is the kind of bag, I know I mentioned in the intro, like you know you could use it for work and the gym and things, which you totally could, but I think this is a really good bag to use on hikes as well. This bag comes in at about like three pounds empty, right? So a little bit, maybe on the heavier side for some, but for me it was the perfect weight because even with loaded out with all of my, my camera gear or hiking equipment or anything like that, I was actually even able to use this as an overnight bag. I was able to put a packing cube, my dop kit, my tech pouch, my laptop, laptop charger, and a point and shoot camera in here. I don't have it loaded out for that right now, but honestly worked really well. So again, the quality of the materials is a big must and quite frankly, I'm really impressed with it. Point number two about this bag is the organization. Though there's not a lot of like pockets and zippers and compartments, you do have a nice front panel for organization that has actually some nice and for once easily accessible slots. A lot of times when you get a flat panel like this, the, the pockets, they're, they're bad, right? Like you can't fit a lot in there. They're like made for very specific things and everything you put in there just ends up falling to the bottom because there's not anywhere to put it on the inside. Well, this bag has about three nice pockets and then the rest can just kind of fall down and it's not that bad to get to. Plus you have a nice, really nice, actually one of my favorite kind of quick access compartments at the top, plus some nice minimal but useful organization in the main compartment. The last point, it's comfortable. Like I said, even though it comes in at three pounds, loaded out with all my gear, these straps with no load lifters and no waist belts, which again, at 24 liters, that's the one I have, like I said, also comes in a 28 liter, depending on your needs. I definitely think if you wanted to go, like you like this bag, you're like, man, I really wanna use that as like a very minimal, like maybe three day travel bag. Again, having been able to fit most of my minimal travel loadout in here, minus my extras, my bonus items I like to take, um, could totally make that work. But it's very comfortable. This harness system was extremely comfortable going up mountains, walking around. I was in Colorado with this thing, and honestly, I was walking around this place called like Gardens of the Gods with my entire camera loadout, and it was really nice. It was really comfortable. And I have my whole camera, like tech, every day on the go loadout in here, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. Those three points right off the bat are just something that I think really make this bag stand out and made it quite a joy to use. And a lot of times I'll use day bags and I'll be like, ah, it's a joy to use. And then it goes in the bag closet or it goes in the pile to be given away or something. Because unfortunately in the position of reviewing bags and trying new bags all the time, I don't really get a chance to use a bag more than once or twice. I have like two bags specifically that I always use because they're just, they're my, like they're my go-to for certain things. Um, but this is one that I was like, man, I really, I really, this is going to be one that I, I definitely want to, I want to visit using again, because it is just, it's just that enjoyable to use. 
right, so let's dive into everything there is about this bag, starting with the handles. Now, when I first got this, if you can see up top here, there is a handle right here, right? But because of the way it like kind of flops, flops down, Right here, you see how there's like this crevasse? I didn't know there was a handle here until a little bit into it. I was like, I thought there was supposed to be a handle. It took me a minute to find it, and it's not bad, right? This is the handle you end up with, and overall, a decent handle. You also have like a really long handle here on this side as well that works really well if you wanted to go briefcase mode. Nothing else on the bottom or on the other side. Also, no external water bottle pocket, which for some can be kind of a bummer. For me, that's the, like, the only thing that's lacking. Even one of those hideaway water bottle pockets on this side would be honestly quite phenomenal. I really, I don't mind an internal water bottle pocket, but when I'm carrying my camera gear and I have a lot of expensive things in here that I don't wanna have to replace, I don't want any chance of anything leaking. I don't want any liquids anywhere near anything inside this bag. But two really solid grab handles. You also have, like I said, and I mentioned a couple times already, a really nice back panel. The air channel is very minimal, not a lot in here, but very comfortable. The straps, again, you got a little bit of, feels like a little bit of foam, but it feels like there's some breathing room. I noticed that like the sweat factor on this bag is an all time low for me. I, I do sweat sometimes when I get up in the mountains, even when it's cold, because usually I'm wearing a jacket and things. But even when I was sweating with this, like it didn't, it didn't feel, it didn't feel any like it didn't feel bad i guess is what i'm saying but overall still very comfortable with a sternum strap that is adjustable everything on this back panel harness system super robust and super comfortable which is what you really want those are the two things if you can find a harness system that is robust and also comfortable and i think comfort is one of the biggest factors we're going to look for in a daily carry or a travel bag or anything like that and this bag really does it pretty well i keep hitting that home because it honestly like it was a pretty big point for me. So with this like divot in here, I don't have this seat, I don't have a whole lot of stuff packed out in this front compartment that goes up. A lot of my stuff goes out. So that is why you get this like little divot. When I had it packed out with my travel loadout, it did not, it was very flush and up like this, which made this handle a lot easier to access. So with, it's a little floopy. It can be, this handle still, I was honestly, I was expecting this handle to be difficult with the floopy factor, but actually, even with the floopy factor, it wasn't hard to grab. Just wanted to throw that in there as well. Okay, so the front one, right, is that side little pocket that I mentioned that opens like business briefcase style. In here, there's a perfect compartment or pocket for a um, portable charger, as well as where I put my SD card case. Two nice little pockets here at the front that are perfect for that and then a smaller guy for like pins and stuff like that. So I thought there was three, but there's really only two, but I was able to also throw just a very basic notebook in here. And like I said, even though it sat at the bottom, it still wasn't hard to get in there and grab that and pull it out. Overall, I will admit, I really like the front panel organization on this thing. Even though this one is zippered on this side, I still think it all works really well. And as a front compartment, you could even fit there is a tablet sleeve, but you could even fit smaller tablets, bigger notebooks, really a whole variety of things. But I personally really like having quick access to those three items because those are things that I need, not quick access, but don't want to get into the main compartment of the bag to get out. And that's where I think this pocket actually works really well. Laptop compartment is on the side here, right? You have a tablet sleeve and you actually have, let me see if I can, ah. So you have this, little like bright strip in here. So you have a tablet sleeve and a laptop sleeve. This is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. I stole it from a little kid. Just kidding, I got it from my partner. Um, and they didn't really mind that I use it for videos, but you can easily fit, well you can according to the specs, fit up to a 17 inch MacBook Pro easily. Other 17 inches devices are eh. so I, if you have a bigger laptop like a 17 inch that's not a macbook pro check the specs of the macbook pro or just email evergoods you know hit them up and be like hey would this fit and see um but you could easily fit a, a laptop and the ipad pro that's 12 inch i fit both of those in here quite nicely solid laptop compartment a yeah. little bit of a false bottom very padded very well like constructed in the sense that you don't have to worry even so one of my things right is as my brain just scatters is when the laptop compartment's up against your back of your bag, or back of your back, up against the back of the bag, up against your back, 
I guess, um, is sometimes like you can feel it, right? Because like the, the, the laptop might only take up a certain amount of space and then you can kind of feel the difference. You can feel it imprint up against your back and it can be uncomfortable. It can totally mess up the back of the bag, the harness system, the back panel. But this bag, honestly, for being up against your back, I didn't feel that at all. Then up top, you have a quick access. And like I said, probably one of my favorite quick accesses because it is a very, I just have iPod Pros. Um, this is a nice little pocket to just kind of fit a variety of things in. Honestly, also has like, again, that bright material for a key clip, but a great security dump. Easily fit phone, wallet, keys, right? Boarding passes, headphones, small like iPod Pros or just regular iPods or whatever. Are they I, I, iPods? I, are they iPods? No, iPods the device. What are these? AirPods? AirPods. AirPods. Figured it out. Just overall like a really nice and useful pocket. And here's the thing that I really like about it. Even though the dimension like is very limited and you don't, but you don't have to worry about the dimension for that quick access being ate up by anything from the front because it is completely separate in a way. And that I really like because a lot of times you'll get a quick access compartment and be like, oh sweet, I can put my phone and my wallet in there, but then they get like scrunched or crushed from whatever you have in the main compartment. I really dig this quick access compartment. I think it is a really, really solid quick access compartment that I am quite a big fan of. Then I'm gonna open the main compartment, right? You got a clamshell opening. And now I'm gonna see if I can avoid everything tumbling out. It opens up. I need like a light to to glow as I open the stuff up. Now, like I said, I had this loaded out for my camera gear because I'm out shooting some ads for some companies right now and doing some photography because I'm trying to do everything I can to just stay busy because God forbid I slow down, I will go insane. Um, but what I have in here is uh, just sitting at top is like pieces for my Ronin SC, which is my gimbal. This is my tech kit from Wander. This is where I usually keep all my point and shoot camera stuff, cables, things like that. Here is all the pieces to my Ronin SC. If you're wondering why I'm going very slow, if you watch my Able Carry Max video that came out earlier in the week, I dropped it like twice and almost broke everything in my bag. I opened it up, everything fell out like stressful. So I'm like very like claw game, carefully like unloading this. But that's my Ronin SC, great gimbal, by the way, if you're looking for a run, I'm probably gonna make a video eventually. Let me know, actually, if you want me to make a video of what I carry for my camera equipment. I do a lot of video, I do a lot of photography. I don't have like a ton of fancy equipment, but I definitely am more of a budget photographer. So if you're interested in maybe some like cheaper, affordable camera stuff to break into it, um, let me know, I'd, I'd gladly make a what's in my photography bag or camera bag video. Also behind here is my little magic keyboard for my Mac because you never know, you never know. And then I have my Wandered camera cube, which is one of my go-to camera cubes. And that is the whole front. Now you also have some organization on the front panel, right? You have a little guy up here that I've thrown my camera charger uh, for my Canon in there, as well as a magic mouse right now this is a great again you can keep this at the front of the bag right and you keep it on zips you could use this as an extra quick access you just undo the zippers reach in there and grab what you want maybe this is where you want to put your sunglasses keep them separate from everything else but overall this is a really nice pocket for some extra smaller items and then you have a mesh guy where i've put this is the this is my new favorite cord pouch from able carry it's like made from x-pack material Tons of cables, right, to charge DJI equipment, GoPro equipment, mouses, cameras, gimbals, like whatever. There's so many cables. So I just throw them all in here and I figure it out on the, on the go. But I know they're all in there. Every cable I could ever need. I bought duplicates of everything. They're all in there. So I don't have to worry about it. Right. So that's your front access or your front panel organization. Two really nice just panels that fit a variety of things that I really enjoy. Also, you've got the Evergoods patch up here, it'll tell you like when things are made, where it's developed, uh, hand wash only, like things like that. But there's more. I wanna go back to this main opening. You've got this guy right here, right? So you easily can fit things behind it. Folders, papers, you know, that's why I put like keyboards, maybe other tablets, portfolios, things like that. You've got a place to clip things up top here. Very minimal up here at the top if you wanted to clip something. I tried to clip my wandered tech pouch just a little, little too wide, but you could definitely 
rig stuff up there. If there was a way, maybe there's a way to get a tech. I'd like to get like a tech pouch. Evergoods. Evergoods released like a oh like a, a little pouch, right? And I haven't gotten it yet, and maybe I will. But if they could release like a very small tech pouch that could just clip in up here and be removable, that would be dope. I really like that idea. Maybe they already have it. I should probably look into that. I don't think they do though. That'd be that'd be really cool. Anyways. What was I saying? Plenty of organization, plenty of space. Like I said, I was able to fit a packed packing cube and other travel items in here easily. Tons of space for 24 liters. I dig it a lot. It is a very nice and durable bag. It is one of my favorites for daily carry that I've used in a while. And the thing is, what I've been doing lately is taking a lot of my daily carry bags and seeing what they can be used for besides just loading it out with like simple work or daily carry needs. Can it fit the gym? I don't take bags to the gym, but I load it out. Can it go to the gym? Would it be good to take to the gym? Can it take camera gear? How much camera gear can it take? Could it be used for a weekend getaway trip? Would you want to use it for a weekend getaway trip? And honestly, this box check this box checks all the bags. Put that on a t-shirt. Um, this bag checks all those boxes. It would fit. I don't know, like gym, I don't I don't know people that take bags to the gym what you need, but like if you want to take clothes and a toiletry kit and headphones and maybe like you're putting your shoes in here from the office, it works. If you're going to use it for an overnight trip, it works. Photography, depending on how big your camera cube and stuff is, it works. And for, you know, just regular carrying it around and stuff, you can easily fit everything you need. And I don't think it's too big. I don't think it looks too stupid. I think it's got a very sleek and minimal design and I dig it quite a lot. So. With that, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. Shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. If you want lists, suggestions, more photos, videos, anything like that. You can also support me on Patreon. I have a Patreon um, where I do like bonus videos, uh, polls, videos early, giveaways every month or two. There's some kind of giveaway going on over there. And um, it's a good time. So check it out if you'd like to support the channel that way subscribe like all that good nonsense um thank you guys for all the love and support and i will see you next time